what's up guys in this part 5 of this video series we are going to connect the circuits uh, in this room so far sorry in the house so first we are going to create uh, we are going to add a panel uh, if you notice there's no panel we're going to create a panel and add it to our building and then we're going to create the various circuits in the panel and then do some settings to the panel so that uh, we get uh, that will enable us to generate a panel schedule then later on we're going to assign each device to a certain circuit okay so yeah uh, let's get to it okay so first we check under tools and we check uh, a sub section that says panel so we're going to be looking for uh, we we can we will use a recessed panel since uh, all the wires are going to be passing within the wall. Well, I suppose it depends on your design. If the uh, wires are passing within the trunkings on top of the wall, then I suggest you use the surface. Uh, otherwise, if they are passing within the wall, then uh, you have conduits within the wall. Then you should go with recessed. Okay yeah according to certain designs but if you don't have any panels here then you should go to manage uh, style manager and look under panels check under panels global since we're using global electrical objects um, oh, uh, then uh, under this you go to panel styles don't check devices so just go over to panel styles so you see the uh, various panels that you need to add so you can just um, go ahead and pick like one of them and place it here okay there's recessed plane uh, uh, I don't know what how recessed one looks like so I'm going to go ahead and place it here okay so that is recessed one so yeah I'll try that out so yeah click apply click ok exit that so I'm going to try recessed one I'll click it and yeah, normally the panel should be accessible to you know people in the house it should not be so uh, low placed on the wall it should be you know a little bit far from reach from you know infants and toddlers so you need to place it at a certain height above the switches but it should be in an area which is accessible to at least every occupant in the house so i'm going to go ahead and place it here next to the entrance yeah, this is the only space that I can think of, so I will place it here. And that one is enough. So, uh, okay, I need to check the properties first before I head on to adding the circuits. So, just right click and look for properties, then you could give it a name according to what you want to be displayed. Uh, under your panel schedule you set the rating the residential house so we're using 100 and uh, voltage should be 230 so uh, well the panel type here is the US panel but uh, for some reason I can't get this thing to change to global okay yeah but you get what I mean. This is panel type, so it should say uh, ISO, not NC. For some reason, this thing is stuck. Yeah, but uh, for voltage, we have 240, sorry, 230, that is phase to neutral. Then phase to phase, it says 240, but uh, we already know phase to phase should be around 400. So phases, we only have one, and then we have three wires. So the mains type, uh, uh, I think only a few people use main lugs, the ones that you just pull out. They're more like um, 
fuses so most people use uh, mcb main size is 100 design capacity you can still put 100 so we are 100 like that uh, so if you're not familiar with this short circuit current rating so just leave it the way it is so feed from it depends on whether you have uh, transformers nearby so we are not going to feed in this part because we are not feeding from uh, we don't have anything there we don't have any other thing on our plan so just leave it blank okay so now that you're done with the properties okay so now we are done with the properties so here you click circuit manager okay so we're going to go ahead and create circuits uh, so this is our panel uh, it's the name we gave it so just click that panel and uh, choose this option new multiple circuits yeah so before we actually get to creating the circuits we need to identify how many circuits we need in this house so usually we will need uh, uh, yeah, actually there's a missing item here we're missing a copper control unit so yeah there's a copper control unit missing okay so i think it's best we put it here That was the only thing missing. So we need to create a circuit for this hooker control unit, a single circuit, for 32 amps. Then uh, suppose we have a fridge and blender, we should give it a separate circuit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, maybe these two, this one and this one, I'll give them a separate circuit. Then the rest of the sockets in the living room will be connected to the light okay uh, to the lights uh, including the socket uh, in the porch uh, and okay so uh, except this light over here because this light can be switched on from uh, let's see over here so this light can be switched on from here and this room that's what we did in the previous video all right so we basically need one two then three three circuits for the living room then we need one circuit for the bedroom also we need to add like a water heater so I'll go ahead and add uh, other power there's water heater okay I'll put it somewhere here in the corner and a water heater in this bathroom as well okay so that's going to increase our number of circuits so so far we have three four uh, the water heater should have a separate uh, circuit so that is five then the bathroom should have its own circuit uh, for the light and shower unit so those are six then this room we should have seven and uh, we have a water heater here that is eight then this bathroom nine then this room uh, ten so those are ten circuits now uh, we can go to style manager click the panel uh, so if we go to circuit manager then we're going to uh, you can right click or find the option over here create multiple circuits so the system is uh, okay you can stay with standard system type power and lighting and so we'll need uh, we are only using 
one four circuits so we need 10 of them so those are 10 and there's nothing else we need there so we'll just click ok create an electrical project database yes we need it and yes we already have one created so we need this to keep information about the circuits and uh, in order for us to generate a, a, a kernel schedule so i'll put it here uh, so i already have one here but i'll create a, a different one so i'm going to call this a sample flow plan uh, just like the name of our drawing so sample flow plan like that like that i'll just call it that okay so it's being created and now we have our circuits so we need to label the circuits we give them a name and these are unique names we use we use them according to the kernel so this is dp1 okay distribution panel one and the circuit is also one so i'm going to just copy this name and continually paste it here there then here from 1 to 10 that is how that is the proper naming convention so here we will add a description uh, circuit 1 was our cooker control unit so let's put cooker no. I need to just like that cooker cooker I'll just say cooker unit then circuit 2 I'll write something like fridge slash blender Then circuit three, I'll just put uh, kitchen slash living room. Living room. I'll just write it like that. So that's for the lights and the remaining sockets. Then circuit number four, I'm going to put uh, master bedroom. Master bed. Circuit number five, master bed room water heater. So water heater like that. Uh, this would actually be master bathroom. So master bath room water heater. And here it should be master master bathroom just math bathroom with uh, light and the other thing the shaver unit all right so uh circuit number seven should be for bedroom one so type bedroom one then um, number eight should be for bathroom there's a bathroom over there uh, actually bathroom water heater then bathroom you know that bathroom in the middle of the two rooms and then bedroom number two okay so those are the 10 circuits so the cooker unit uh, oh, uh, cooker unit over here we should have a rating of 32 amp the breaker fridge blender let's leave it at 20 living room kitchen i'll assign it 16 and master bedroom i'll give it 16 bathroom water heater i'll leave it as 20 uh, master 
bathroom I will just give it 16 and a bedroom one 16 This bathroom water heater 20, uh, the bathroom 16, the bedroom 2 should also have 16. Okay, so we have 3 20 amps and 132, then the rest are 16. Okay, so we are done with our circuits, we've created the circuits, so just simply close that. So those circuits are contained within that panel. Okay.